Hello, the Brad Lloyd, and welcome to my channel all about building a smart home with Apple HomeKit. In this video, I'm going to help you decide which LED light strip is right for you. Here in Canada, HomeKit light strips can range anywhere from $38 to $120. And depending on your project, you might need an extension. So doing your research is really important. Well, you've come to the right place. Some products have extra features and benefits that you should be aware of that sometimes justify that extra cost. In this video, I'm going to be comparing three different light strips at three different price points. Vocal Link at the lower cost, Nanoleaf Essentials as our mid-range, and at the higher end, Philips Hue. I also chose these particular light strips because they all connect using different technologies. Even if you choose a light strip brand different than what I'm showing you today, this video is going to help you understand the features that you should be looking for. And then depending on your project and your setup, you'll know which will work best for you. You really can't go wrong with any of these brands. Before I go into these light strips, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my channel so you can find more of my videos where I talk about Apple HomeKit. So where can you put LED light strips? Well, there are so many options. Light strips are great at providing diffused accent lighting and are commonly used in under cabinet lighting, behind TVs, headboards, and even under the couch. There are so many options. These are just a few examples. So what are some factors that you need to consider when choosing a light strip? Well, first of all, you want to make sure that the light strip supports the smart home platform that you're using. I use Apple HomeKit, of course, so when I'm choosing light strips, I'm making sure that I see that works with Apple HomeKit logo. Another important consideration is going to be length. How long are the light strips? Can you add an extension? If so, how many extensions can you add? What's the maximum length that you can make this light strip? You're also going to want to know where you can cut the light strip. Some are going to be every four inches, others are going to be 12 or 13 inches. So know how long you need and then plan accordingly. Technology is going to be another consideration. How do these connect? You want to know that these light strips are reliable and responsive. So I'll break this down a little bit more as we look at each of these lights individually. Brightness and color intensity is going to be something else that you want to consider. So how bright are these lights usually measured in lumens and how rich and vibrant are the colors? We'll do a side by side comparison soon that will give you a better look. Okay, here are the three light strips that we're going to compare. I also want to let you know that this particular video is not sponsored and I purchased all three of these myself. Either way, I'll always give you my honest feedback. The first one we're going to look at is Vocal Link. I have an existing Vocal Link light strip in my house and I find it to be a quality product and it only costs $49.99 Canadian. These lights connect through Wi-Fi and are actually pretty fast as long as you have a solid Wi-Fi connection where you're placing the light strip. Keep in mind that you don't want to add too many Wi-Fi accessories or you risk putting a strain on your network. This product is listed as 500 lumens of max brightness, but this will be better demonstrated when we do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is a 2 meter light strip and it can be expanded up to 4 meters by purchasing an additional 2 meter extension pack for $38.99. And these can be cut every 4 inches. The app also allows for some cool unique effects like blink, breathe, flow, and candle flicker that neither the Philips Hue or Nanoleaf offer. The next one we have here is Nanoleaf, and this is part of their Essentials line. These are relatively new. They've been hard to find, so I was very excited when I found some online. These are the first light strips to connect by thread, meaning you can expect better range, improved latency, and better reliability in many cases. To take advantage of thread, you will need a HomePod Mini. Uh, these lights also connect by Bluetooth. However, I really just wouldn't recommend it unless it's just a temporary solution until you pick up your HomePod Mini, which I always recommend is a good idea anyway. These lights come in at 2,200 lumens max brightness. So in theory, these are gonna be the brightest light that we're testing today. This light strip is also two meters long and it can be extended all the way up to 10 meters. You can purchase additional one meter extensions for $34.99. This light strip can be cut every 13 inches. Okay, then the last one we're gonna look at is Philips Hue. I love Philips Hue. This is the first light strip that I ever owned and it's always worked really well for me. 
These are the most expensive, though I appreciate the quality and reliability you get with the price of $99.98 Canadian. These lights connect through Zigbee, which means you're gonna need a separate Philips Hue bridge, and that does cost $70. However, you can connect up to 50 lights off of that one bridge. Technically, you can also connect with Bluetooth, but it doesn't work with HomeKit, so just don't do it. Don't do it. These light strips are listed as 1,650 lumens, which isn't as high as the NanoLeaf, but it's much higher than the Vocalink. So I'll be interested to see how bright they actually appear. Don't worry, I'm gonna test this out and we'll find out soon. This is a two meter light strip and just like NanoLeaf, it can be extended all the way up to 10 meters. You can purchase additional one meter extensions for $39.97. Like the NanoLeaf, you can only cut every 13 inches. Okay, let's get these set up and see how they look side by side. Okay, here are the lights. Let's see how they look and how they compare to each other. Here you can see that the NanoLeaf are the brightest lights. The Philips Hue is pretty close behind and the Vocal Link is much dimmer and it also has a much redder light to it. Red. The LEDs seem a little bit closer together on the Vocal Link, um, so you can tell that there's a bit more spacing on both the Philips Hue and the NanoLeaf. Very good for all three of them. Blue. Purple. Yellow. So the NanoLeaf is more of a green here. Um, it's kind of the outlier. Both the Vocal Link and the Philips Hue are a little bit whiter. Orange. Turquoise. And very nice uh, on all three of them. The Vocal Link is a little bit bluer, where the NanoLeaf and the Philips Hue are a bit on the greener side, but they all perform pretty well. Green. Magenta. Dim my den lights to 10%. Dim my den lights to 1%. Wow, and you can see the difference here. The Philips Hue gets very, very dim. It is barely on. The Nano Leaf is light, but definitely a lot more noticeably on compared to the Philips Hue. The Vocal Link looks like it's still at 10, 15% brightness. So that really is an advantage of the Philips Hue or the Nano Leaf if you just want a very, very faint light. Okay, I hope that was helpful, but we're gonna do one more comparison. Let's see how these look along my kitchen island so we can see how the diffused light looks as opposed to just looking at the individual LEDs. This is how light strips were intended. Let's have a look. Okay, let's start with the vocal link. Let's see how these look on the kitchen island. Blue. Turquoise. Purple. Okay, nice. Now let's try out the Nano Leaf. Wow, you can already see how much brighter these look compared to the Vocal Link. Blue, turquoise, very nice, purple. Okay, those looked fantastic. Last but not least, let's check out the Philips Hue. Okay, we've got the Philips Hue set up. Let's see how they look. That looks great. It's also very bright. Blue. Turquoise. That looks really nice. Purple. I love it. It's so hard to choose which one is the best. A couple other advantages that I want to point out with both the Vocal Link and the Nano Leaf is the buttons that they have. Now, depending on your setup, these may not always be exposed. You'll have to consider that. But the Vocal Link comes with a little button, so you can just press this to turn it on or off. And same with the Nano Leaf, you've got an on and an off button, as well as a couple buttons that you can use for dimming. So, just a couple things to consider. I felt that Philips Hue had the deepest, richest colors, but Nano Leaf was very close, and I like how bright the Nano Leaf got as well. 
Honestly, I was impressed with Vocalink. They offer great quality for the value, and especially for a place where you don't need them to be super bright, I think they're an excellent choice. In terms of speed, they all did exceptionally well here, although the Nano Leaf was clearly the fastest, taking advantage of that thread technology. Now I have a HomePod Mini, but if I didn't, these would connect via Bluetooth, and I promise you they would be much, much slower. If you're going with Nano Leaf, then make sure that you have a HomePod Mini, or you're at least going to get a HomePod Mini, so you can take advantage of that speed and reliability that Thread provides. Okay, so which one did you like best? My favorite was the Nano Leaf. This is the one that I'm going to permanently install on my kitchen island. One tip when adding new accessories to your home kit, and that's to go into the manufacturer app and always download the latest firmware available. That way you will get the best reliability. And in terms with Nanoleaf Essentials products, they don't come with thread out of the box. You need to download that firmware update before you can take advantage of thread. The Philips Hue is a great option as well. The question you need to ask is, is it worth the extra money? In my opinion, Philips Hue is a little overpriced in today's market, but they're tried and true. And I've had my existing Hue light strip for well over a year, and I can't think of a single time I had an issue. There's definitely something to be said for that. If you don't have a HomePod mini, or you're just not ready to dive into the world of thread quite yet, then Philips Hue might be a solid option. I'll likely end up installing my Philips Hue light strip behind one of my TVs, maybe even the one right behind me here, and the vocal link will likely go in my son's room somewhere, maybe behind his headboard or along his dresser, somewhere like that. While not as bright, the vocal link does offer really great value. A couple of other points I want to mention, and first is adaptive lighting. Adaptive lighting is a new feature in iOS 14 that automatically adjusts the lighting temperature throughout the day based on your location and the sun's position. This feature is available with the Nano Leaf and the Philips Hue, but it's currently not available with Vocalink. So if this feature is important to you, then that's something that you're going to want to consider. Lastly, all three of these light strips work with HomeKit, of course, but the Vocalink and the Philips Hue also work with both Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. The Nano Leaf works with Google Assistant, but not Amazon Alexa. Now I'm sure most of you are using HomeKit anyway, so it doesn't even matter, but I just wanted to mention that. That's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you can find more of my videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.